Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have another picking video. And speaking of picking, um, Kim is picking leaves, choco leaves, from our choco vine whilst it's still hanging, right? Yes, and, and I got a great uh, recipe I found while we were on holiday of uh, jarred cauliflower with choco and eggplant, and it looked amazing. All right. So, Let's go and uh, pick our next fruit. Yeah, this is uh, peak season now, October to um, May. October to May, you heard right. That's how long the peak season, not, not picking season, peak picking season. <laughs> picking season is every month of the year, guys. Every month, including the, the depth of winter, we're still picking. Um, but yeah, October to May is peak season. Peak. Can you believe it? That means that means bowls of fruit every day for how many months is that? Um, gee, I don't know. Nine months. I don't know. Eight months. All right. Today we're going to be picking the um, lemons that uh, fell during our uh, absence. From this 30 plus year old lemon tree. I think it's the Lisbon. Uh, but don't quote me on that. It's either the Lisbon or the uh, <coughs> Eureka. All right. And that's where the damage happened, right there. Right? See those lemons there touching the ground? We're going to be picking those. And then we're going to cut off the branch that got. Um, um, snapped from the weight all right and if you're new to the channel welcome guys we have a cool temperate garden here in Melbourne Australia which means um, we can grow every type of cool climate fruit and I mean all of them right without any problem like first go there's no second attempt needed and because it's um, a fluctuating cool to warm temperate climate, one day cool, next day warm, uh, we can experiment with um, certain subtropicals, which is why we have these, <clears throat> what would you call them, cocoons? Yeah, where I have uh, some tropical fruit trees attempting to survive over winter and early spring. All right. So basically... Oh, and bananas, lots and lots of bananas and sugar cane. Uh, if I wasn't doing the tropicals, I, I might have given up already on this garden because it's a little boring. Le you know, lemon. Okay. Okay. Depends who we're talking to. If we're talking to someone who lives in a small flat, an apartment, a lemon tree to them is like a gold mine. Right? You got to think of everyone's point of view, not just your own. But to me, who's got over a thousand square meters of space, a lemon tree is like, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. That's all. It stops there. It's not special. So, um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. But, yeah, that's basically most of it. All right, let's get in here. This is the damage, by the way, that happened um, recently. Right there from the wind or actually probably from the weight of these 100 lemons not not just the wind probably a combination of both right and then there as well so we've got two two um, major um, points of impact all right so we're simply and as you can see look how healthy these new leaves were that we've lost but guys again this is a big tree there's over a thousand lemons on here, and if we lose 20, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> all right, let's, let's start. So, I don't think I can fit any more in this um, basket, right? But I got them off the ground, with it, so they're not touching anymore. Um, yeah, I had to... Uh, snip the ends best I could and come back for another 
basket we'll come back for another basket in um, a few days so we're gonna have to do this incrementally and then the green ones the ones that weren't uh, yellow you can sort of um, do something with those I don't know what but I'll stick with the, the ones that are ripe one last thing I want to do today is cut off the, uh, the branch here that's hanging over the yellow jabuticaba which is one of those tropicals I was talking about before and it's doing so well right and look at this <laughs> it's touching literally touching with the um, the lemon the lemons above bit risky so we're gonna have to cut one of these well this branch here off okay I cut these uh, branches off and now it's a lot safer for the uh, tree underneath so guys um, that's the result there with the overhead uh, lemons now not not too uh, not too bad right there you go a lot safer so I'll take these in too and just leave them on a kitchen table with their maybe with their leaves as they are they can still keep ripening but over there where I started everything's off the ground now there's no more touching and uh, that's where we're gonna go next time to pick the remainder uh, lemons there for the second uh, harvest all right guys that's the video from our oldest lemon tree I think it's a Maya or uh, a Lisbon anyway it doesn't really matter and um, give us a like if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel we have a ton more videos to come from spring here in um, Melbourne Australia there's another tropical that's the black sapote or chocolate pudding fruit yep chocolate pudding fruit and there's another mulberry and here's a loquat and in here I've got a mango so that's another one coming up a gyro persimmon there a pink guava under that net which needs to come off uh, bananas mandarins uh, more bananas uh, avocado tree right behind me here the fuerte and of course weeds it's not all it's not all um, it's not all uh, what do you call it red roses got to pull this weed out wow look at the size of it wow oh what a monster huh yeah so there's work to, to be done as well guys bye bye mm. I'm loving the 20 plus Celsius temperatures mm, delicious delicious